There's something I wasn't expecting to find at this time of year because it's November. I know it has it is warm. But this is a female speckled bush cricket. Which is actually on my window. The window of my own room. Which badly needs to clean. But uh yeah, I'll take her down out of there. But for only because as, as you can see this is extremely difficult to see her camouflage is amazing she must have been in these bushes here look at that she's only got one leg and she has that saber shaped thing at the back which is an ovipositor she uses it to lay eggs the males are the same but they don't have that and she relies on her camouflage and she's not happy now because her camouflage isn't working. Look at that now, she's on my hoodie. Beautiful creature. They're quite large. And this is one of the smaller crickets. There are much bigger crickets, including bigger ones found in Ireland. And there are, of course, gigantic ones found in other parts of the world. But, uh, anyway, this is the most common one. Very hard to, to actually see when they're on the green. Oh. Now, there she goes. Can you see her there? Look at that. It's very difficult to spot a cricket. A lot of traffic on the road, that's what all that noise is. Look at that though, isn't she beautiful? There must be rain coming because she was trying to climb up under the eaves. Although this would be more of her natural habitat. And the thing about bush crickets is they're so well camouflaged, you just wouldn't notice them. I could walk by her, or loads, there could be dozens here, and I just wouldn't notice them unless they, they sort of show themselves accidentally. Now she's cleaning her feet, probably because she got too close to the spider's webs that are around my window. I really do need to clean my windows. Isn't that beautiful? And she's on Vinca, which is sometimes called Star of Bethlehem because it tends to flower, uh, it goes into a big flower near Christmas, but it's actually a naturalized plant. It's pretty much all over the country now. And uh, it's great though because it keeps, uh, for some reason, brambles don't like it. So you can grow it and it flowers and brambles won't be in the middle of it usually. In fact, it'll halt their march. And there's our little bush cricket with the antennae. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> 